happening, man. You already know. What's <laughs> up, man? What's up, man? What's up, man? Yes. It's supposed to be a beautiful day today in Cali. I mean, it feels beautiful already. Just looking at myself. We ain't even got to wait on the weather to come to feel beautiful. We feel we are beautiful. Shit, I, I brought the beauty. So it's only right that the weather compliment me. You feel me? Word up. But, yeah, I'm on my way to work, you know. Today is um, Monday, March 29th, almost April. April Fool's around the corner. March 29th, 2021, man. No, we've been doing this for a while now. It's hot today. You dig? It is hot today. So when you see me with this hat, that means it's nice outside. When you see me with the other hat, hey, stop it. That means it's a little chilly. Only got two hats, man. Only got two hats. You know what I mean? Front for the, I'm front for nobody. I'm just going to work. You see it, man. You know, I don't even do much. I don't do much. But you know how Jeff stays stuck in the club. You know why I be all live VIP. I'm rolling up the B.I.G. This is just the introduct, introvert. Now I'm more like the ultrovert. A sign of her. I'm just trying to put words together. You know the introduction before I get into the topic. I don't even have a topic. I never do have a topic. Because some of the times I've been listening. When I speak, I listen to what I'm saying. Then from there, if something interests me from what I'm just speaking now, I'm just expressing myself freely. If something comes up and I'd be like, oh, yeah, we could definitely go into that. Then I speak on these things. But I don't really start off the day having a topic. I do think about things to say, like when I'm laying down and everything else. But when I wake up in the morning, it's like I have a short term memory. So I really don't hold on to nothing that's going. I really don't hold on to no anger like that. I mean, it's very hard for me to hold on to anger. And I feel like that's my downfall. But sometimes I want to hold on to anger and do something about it, but it's like, it escapes me. It does. It really does escape me. I forget about it then. You know what I mean? I move on to the next thing. And I guess that's, that's sometimes short-term memory is a good thing. Because it's like, you know, it doesn't eat away of you. All this, uh, not, uh, all this na- not nanotechnology, nanotechnology itself is something, it's more like a, 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 this small little cells that is man-made that can eat away. And it's basically the equivalent of what stress is. Stress usually, when you stress yourself out, stress eat away at you. It can even eat away at your heart eat away at your whole body, it will eat away at you. That's what stress does. So to me, that's how I see nanotechnology sometimes. And I feel like holding on to things that angers you eats away at you. So I'm just happy that I have a flaw that works on my behalf because I do forget about things. And it's like, yeah, I can think about great things to say that sometimes it just, you know, it just don't happen. Then it'd be some some of the other subjects that pops up. It's just things that was on the go that popped up. Then I started talking about it. Or if I'm on the bus and somebody do something to me, it reminds me of something I can uh, talk about. Then I talk about it, feel me? But usually I don't have these things in my mind. They just pop up, you feel me? But today I wanted to talk about um, familiar. Now, I mean, this is something that I remember that I wanted to talk about, so I wanted to talk about it. Being familiar, you feel me? Familiar. It has not, not family or anything else like that, but I want you to see the things that people try to place in my in your path all the time. I always show y'all niggas things that people put in your path, but this time as a man, I'll show you right quick. This is my path right here. Look at what comes across. I don't know, but see? You see it for yourself, right? <laughs> You see what happened, right? 
Oh, because I got my hair out like this. He want to come with the whole red flag. I see if he's blood. Then he going to come with the whole uniform and everything else like that. This, this, this is what I got to deal with right here. Just to walk on the same path with you. Just so you can speak about them in some kind of way. You see what he is already. We ain't even got... You can't make this shit up, man. I seen it coming. I was like, let me show y'all niggas what's on my path and coming. All right, let's see. Let's see what, what the act is going to be. No, he ain't going no damn where. Where are you looking? This is where he's looking at. There's a whole nother business on that side. That's not... They're not the same. So, let's go. See it for yourself. You got what you want. Let's see. As you can see, man. Nigga walking. He don't know where he's going. He's faking the funk. He is a faker. You see that? Fake. But it's all good, though. Let's get back to the topic. I want to talk about familiar. These are the things that will shift the focus of what I was intent to talk about. Then, guess what? Somebody like that. He going to, he intentionally just going the wrong way just to make a point that he know where he's going. But you out here looking like, like exaggerating the course of, dang, that shit is weak, man. Stop it. <laughs> shit weak, man. You can't intimidate me with no gang shit or none of that shit, man. I'm confident in who I am. Who are you? Feel me? That's how they still, <laughs> but let me talk about familiar and I wanted to talk about familiar in the sense of that people are not familiar with what I'm going through. You feel me? Some days they can relate, but overall, I haven't really met somebody who is really familiar with what I'm going through. You feel me? It's just the truth, man. It's like, I see a lot of people today, they for you. The next day, it's this. Then the next day, they're going against you. Then the next day, they back. It's like, yo, look, man. A lot of people don't understand, like, it's very hard to find somebody who's familiar with my thing, you feel me? I mean, some days, right, I like to, you feel me, just listen to people or be at a place or walk by, walk by or have a conversation with somebody when I say listen to people, I mean like I can listen on my YouTube or on well, that's the only thing I got YouTube, <laughs> YouTube or yeah, YouTube or um, or watch TV if I had to watch TV from my past or when I'm having a conversation with a to or somebody else who's like somebody that I know or a total stranger without them having to. Kn well, first of all, I want to have a conversation with somebody who is new to me. You feel me? I mean, think about it. I'm having a conversation with somebody who has already been fed a piece of me. Or been fed an idea of me. You feel me? So it's very hard for this person to even comprehend what I'm saying without them looking at me in the light that was already fed to them. So it's very hard. It's, it's like, yo, you don't understand, man. I'm, I'm even trying to explain something that's very hard to explain because I don't even know even if I understand what I'm trying to explain. You feel me? Because I'm going through it. <laughs> These niggas just driving around. He doing C turns and C turns. Cause I was on the bus right now. And these niggas try. As soon as I came off the bus, I felt a, a, a little bit of lightness about myself. I already know they're trying to cheat. So I've been walking. Although I'm walking on the sidewalk and everything else, I still gotta watch myself. Cause some of these niggas be planting, they, they be plotting with other people, try to drug you and try to hit you with a car and stuff like that. So I still gotta watch myself and everything else. Although we don't smoke or drink or use any form of drug, you feel me? These people put these things upon you. You be like, yo, how is that possible? Well, how are you supposed to know how something feel if you never did it before? You don't even know how to describe it. You might say, oh, I feel lightheaded. Oh, I feel kind of tired today. No, if, if, if you haven't put in the work to feel tired, then how do you feel tired? You feel me? 
If you haven't, if you haven't done anything that should give you that lightheaded motion, then why do you feel lightheaded? So these are the questions that you gotta ask yourself. You just can't assume shit. From my experience, I know for a fact, just from my experience and the situation I hand and everything else for, for what I've been going through, I know what go, what goes so when I feel a certain way, I'll be like, yeah, this is this is some hate shit. They're just trying to get a quick one on you. Niggas trying to like feel me some coward act. You know what I mean? You know how that shit go, man. Need I say more or do you get the point? You feel me? But I want to talk about familiar. A lot of like just like the way I explained this part right now, a lot of people are not familiar with what's going on. They probably know what is going on. And they always feel like, well, it's like they disregard everything else. From A to Z, they disregard it. And they'd be like, but this is something that you can it's like no, like, no. It's like no. I refuse. You feel me? I refuse. Let's see, man. Uh, these niggas sometimes bugging out. You feel me? I refuse to be to 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 fold to anybody. I don't care. You can you can punch me and everything else that you want. I would not wear glasses to hide myself or try to hide my face with a shield. Nigga, I can't wait to take these masks off after it's all said and done. Maybe sometimes I be in my own house and I feel like I gotta put a mask on, and I'm like, why the fuck? It's like it has become part of our identity. It's crazy. Like, that shit is crazy. It's like, yo, you don't have to put a mask on now. You like, like it's like me walking on the sidewalk right now. Sometimes I feel like, yo, do I have to put a mask on? Something? No, nigga, you by yourself. There's nobody 600 feet from you. Why are you trying to put a mask on? You could. You good, my nigga? And that's what I'm saying. A person 10 years ago of myself would not understand now. It's not familiar with it. That's how I feel with saying people about my situation sometimes. Like, we so far apart in our understanding of each other. It's like we're not familiar with each other. You feel me? That's what I'm trying to say. That, that, let, not fuck 10 years ago. Three years ago of myself would not understand me right now when it comes to the face mask thing when I'm trying to put it. And I'm like, yo, why do I feel like I have to put the face mask on? It's like... It's like something's telling me, you put the face mask. It's like it's almost forcing me. And I'm like, yo, what kind of demon is this? Like, there's no need to put the face mask on. You feel me? And that's why I wanted to go into the word about familiar. Like, the things that we not relate. We're not relating to each other. You feel me? We just not. Like, sometimes, you know, they get a same piece here, piece here. They get certain things right. But overall, I'm being misunderstood. And it's like, it's crazy, man. It kind of it kind of takes me back to that time when I was in um when I used to have my own place and I was living uh with my girl at that time, which is now my ex. So let's just get it right. And I I used to work a lot, and at that time she was staying home, and I'm working. I was working OD hard. I'm working hours, twelve hours, probably ten hours a day. I'm not even going to exaggerate. Probably like ten hours a day. Coming home, are you coming home to somebody? Who's not familiar with what you're going through? We couldn't relate because I'm working that many hours coming home to somebody who has been staying home the whole day. What do you expect that person to be? It's like, yo, you're not fun. We're not doing this. And I'm like, damn. It's like, yo, I'm not, like, I'm going to work. <laughs> like, you have to understand, people who work, if you're a hardworking individual, you can probably relate to this. And you have a wife that stays at home, you feel me? Especially if she don't have any kids. So, I mean, she got a lot of time on her hand. So, you have somebody who's staying at home and you come home from work. That person who's staying at home has to have understanding of the position that they're in. You're supposed to be comfort for that man who has worked hard and he's coming home. You feel me? But if you over here telling, oh, nah, can we go to this? Can we go to the park? Can we do this and do that? You're not taking into account what that man had to go through during that time period when you was home being bored. You feel me? So it's like we couldn't relate. It's like, yo, I don't put in 10 hours busting my ass and everything else. And now when I come home, you you very, you very you in need of something. When you supposed to balance out yourself like that? Now, let's just say if I work 10 hours and she worked 10 hours, guess what? we would be in a better situation where we can both understand each other and understand the struggle that we're going through in that moment in time. But you have one person that's overwhelmed, another person is not overwhelmed. They have a lot of energy that they want to burn. And it's like, I can't. You feel me? I can't help you in that situation because you're being selfish in how you understand things. And I feel like 
when it comes to my situation with people who are trying to understand where I'm coming from, they're being selfish and analyzing what I'm really going through. You feel me? So it's like, I, I just, that's why I don't even attach myself to too many people because people don't understand what I'm going through. So they just, they just assume it's, it's like 10 hours a day. She's assuming this shit is easy and he's just being lazy and he's always whining and everything else like that. But yeah, when a person who, we all know that two people who are working together, even Nino Brown just said it, I was listening to Nino Brown. Two people who are working together have a longer lasting uh, marriage than a person who just stay home and doesn't do nothing and one is working. Because when you're both working an uh, eight hour shift and another person is working an eight hour shift, that time apart, when y'all come together, it makes it very, that, that much special. And y'all enjoy each other more. Because if I'm tired and you tired, guess what we going to do? We're going to relate and sit to the couch and holding each other's hand and relaxing. Or we're going to relate and more and be like, yo, we can walk a short distance in the park and everything else. Because we both know that we've been putting in work of the other place. Because now we have an understanding with each other. But if my situation, if, I, if, I'm, if I'm going through what I'm going through and you never went through something like that, you can't relate to me. All you're going to do is just criticize, 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 and point out the flaws. You feel me? You probably went through a little bit of it, a small part of it. You can't relate to me. You feel me? So I be looking at niggas like, yeah, hey, I can't relate to me, man. I say, I be I'm looking at them like, y'all can't fuck with me. Like, y'all just don't understand what I've, I've been through and what I went through and the kind of mindset that I had to develop and everything else like that. So it's like... If I'm being obnoxious and mean and everything else like that, it's like I really don't care to fix it for you because it's like you just can't relate to me. You cannot understand who I am. It's like when I came home, I, I can use the same story so you can have a better understanding. It's like when I come home from a 10-hour shift and she complaining and everything else, I didn't even care to fix that situation. All I got to do is just explain to you. I've been doing 10 hours you be staying home for 10 hours. You have to you have to change your perception of how you understand the situation right now. You are being selfish. You need to step back and think about it. You feel me? Make it comfortable. Give me the energy through inspiration itself. You feel me? Don't be nagging. Don't be acting like you understand what's going on. Because you haven't doing <laughs> you ain't putting the 10 hours a day that on that day. We just talking one day now. You ain't even putting the 10 hours a day, let alone 40 weeks, let alone doing it for six years, let alone enduring this kind of thing for a decade plus. You feel me? So you can understand me. You feel me? It's not that I'm saying that I need somebody who went through the same struggle. No, I need someone who understands it without having to go through it. I need a wise person, a wise woman to be exact, or a wise group, or a wise understanding group of people. They understand that you feel me because these people are not thinking beyond their own means, they're just thinking they're just thinking they, they ass on the 10, uh, 10 hours of couch sitting. They haven't really indulged anything for them to even understand what I've been through. You feel me? And so, some people are just not familiar with what I've went through, they're just not familiar with it. You feel me? They cannot relate to what I've been through, so it's constantly me having to literally have to be. But some days they get me, then some days they off all the way off and I'm like how did you get that and you didn't get this and it's like yo I gotta read I'm like I can understand and I had to basically look back into my own life and see what part in my life was very familiar with this moment and that part was <laughs> excuse me and that part was the best one I can give I could give y'all was when I was in the apartment with that woman and she just didn't understand that I don't already, I put in what you have to understand the moment that you're in right now, your position is very important to me too, of course. But you also have to understand that this man has been putting this much work for this day. It's like you coming home to your kids and your kids don't understand what kind of effort you've put in. And it's like, they're making all that damn noise. That's why the parents be like, shut your ass up. Hey, I'm trying to sleep. <laughs> you feel me? And they get the ass whooping and they don't understand. She's always mad, but they're just too young to understand the moment that they're in. So that's why I be looking at them. I be like, y'all niggas are immature in understanding what I've went through. Very much immature. As a matter of fact, if I see it from that phone. Oh, it's like those times when I was... Um, when I used to play basketball in high school, I started off a JV. Then from junior varsity, oh, what the fuck, motherfucking B. From junior varsity, I went to varsity. You feel me? If you went to high school, you understand. So I have gained the experience. 
during those time and some people just didn't start playing basketball and they was wondering where they can come take my spot and i'm like you can't come take somebody's spot who has put in that much amount of work you just can't like you're not even nice enough you you immature in how you approaching the situation or your understanding of that situation they just wasn't familiar with it they never been through that just drive on that side they just haven't been through they haven't put in the work they don't understand what it takes what kind of energy it takes to go hard in the fourth quarter they don't even know how to balance themselves and you know like you put it all in the first quarter then you wonder why you can't go in the fourth quarter my experience told me like i you know what i mean i gotta go hard this when it's time to go hard you know when to shift the gears and everything else like that you in the express lane just looking at the car now you in the express lane there's no red light or traffic light it's time for you to go all the way and these people just didn't have the experience to do that you feel me so they wasn't familiar with the situation so when i look at my situation i can't expect everybody that's what i've been understanding lately i just can't expect everybody to understand the situation that i'm going through i just can't you feel me? I'm looking at it, I'm like, you know what? It's a fact. I just can't expect it. You can't expect it out of them. They are an infant when it comes to the things that you went through. As a matter of fact, you probably were the first of your kind to ever go through something like this. So you have to have, I, I, I needed to develop some kind of patience and tell them, I right, just understand what I'm going through. That's all. Feel me? I'm like, yo, just, just try to understand what I'm going through. But if you don't understand it, then I have to adjust my understanding and try to see if this is even worth explaining to you. You feel me? And that's the situation where I came with every across every other situation. You feel me? The only time I compromised was for my my kid. Sometimes when I came home from work. And I had to take care of my son and shit like that. My baby mom just didn't understand in that moment in time. Like, yeah, I just did 12 hour shift. You feel me? She's like, but I, I'm home with the kid all day. And I'm like, ah, that's cool. But I need an hour. <laughs> I just got home. I need an hour break. You need to hold on. You've been doing this for a while. Just hold on to them for that hour. I, and I usually go in the bathroom, have a moosa. Then when I come out, bam, it's that simple. But sometimes people just don't give a fuck. This she she was on the she was on like now nah, I was home with the kids all day. You feel me? It's like you had several breaks in between. Stop it. <laughs> sometimes the kids do get tired. You feel me? Or you could put sometimes parents. It's like we give a lot of parents a lot of credit, but sometimes let's be for real. It's laptops raising these kids. You just put, give them a phone and a laptop and they be occupied. And when they hungry, they come knock on the door. I'm hungry. And yeah, it's like, yeah, you have to be aware and make sure they're not doing nothing. But it's not that hard. Like you being at a job for 10 to 12 hours and everything else like that. You feel me? But like I said, I had so many examples. But the best one I can pick was my situation when I was in Harlem. I didn't have no kids at that time. And I had a, a room, uh, more like an apartment, a studio apartment. And you have somebody that you're living with, but that person didn't understand your struggle and everything else like that. And they wanted you to compromise. And it's like, damn. Like, are you even worth me killing myself over? You feel me? Like, yeah, I'm willing to do it sometime. But if you expect this out of me all the time, you have to have a better understanding of where we stand. In. You feel me? And that's the situation I'm going right now through. It's like people claim they they there for you, but they just don't understand or don't have a familiar. Like they probably just started going through something similar to you, and they feel like, oh, I can, I understand what he's going through. I'm going through it. No, you no 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 no. That's not we, we are not the same. You just started, man. Trust me on that one. Or you you haven't even started yet. So it's like you feel me. They're just not familiar with my shit, man. That's all I wanted to tell you. People are not familiar with what I'm going through. You just can't compare yourself to me. I know most people probably thought I was going to talk about them, but you're not that important. 
yeah, make yourself important in my life and try to infiltrate with your petty behaviors. You feel me trying to trap me? Don't crash, my nigga. I'm trying to show off. And when you crash, I don't want to be a witness. That's the last thing I want to do is fucking witness some shit. Because you know when an accident happened, you can't leave the crime of a scene. You feel me? So I don't want to be these... If you want to be stupid on your own time, do it when I'm not around. Because I hate to be a witness. I know that's selfish of me, but that's selfish of them too. But I'm not thinking about somebody who has to stay behind to write their report. Feel me? How about they selfishness? It's not like they're doing it intentionally. Yes, it was. There's a lot of things people don't want to do intentionally. When it comes to accident, nobody wants to do it intentionally. But if you just take that second to think about it, what this could, it could happen. This could, it could, this could happen. <laughs> feel me? Yeah, it'll have you thinking twice about doing same things. Like trying to speed ahead just because you want to prove to somebody that you mad or whatever the fuck it was he was trying to do. Shit, cray cray. Forever mine. There's a lot of bees out here. You feel me? But it's not familiar with what I'm going through, man. They're just not. Like, you feel me? Some things that I have to explain to people is like, yo, you know what's going on, man. Sometimes they even know more than I do. You feel me? Niggas be planning. They criminals. They be planning, then bragging it out there. Like, this is what they're going to do next. <laughs> it's crazy. That's because there's no accountability and nobody's really standing up for what is right. So, here I am being obl oblivious to it, not knowing what you're walking into, right? So, it's like, you don't understand what I'm going through. Yeah, you have all the information at hand. Just like you know my work schedule, you know what time a nigga got to wake up. You know what I'm dealing with because most of the time I'm telling you what I'm dealing with when I come home to you. Just like the same situation, I'm telling y'all what I'm going through and everything else like that. But yeah, you can't even comprehend it because you have not walked through that kind of... You can't walk a mile in my shoe, you feel me? But yeah, you jealous of me. They just don't understand what's going on, you feel me? They can't be familiar with it. They're not relatable. We just can't relate to that. We just can't. We're not... We just... We, you feel me? And I'm not talking to somebody in specifically. I'm just talking to any and everybody. Everybody, any and everybody. And this is the shit that I got to go through, you feel me? People always assume they know what you're going through, but they don't know what I'm going through. And they probably thought I was going to talk about them today, like I said earlier, but you're not that important, man. I'm not talking about you. You feel me? Trust me, I'll save you for a later day. There's always a later day. <laughs> Patience, you're going to get yours. Oh, patience, oh, patience. Feel me? They're just not familiar with the situation that's going on, you dig? But it's all good, man. That's all I wanted to talk about on this topic. It's not really much else to talk about. Feel me? Really ain't. I still want to talk. Oh, Matt, I'm going to come back into it. Hold on.